Welcome back, Canon Faithful. After a couple major disappointments recently, it's nice to be able to sit down and enjoy the oh-so-loved cannon fodder, especially after what I hope was a nice Thanksgiving for all those who observe the holiday. It's on the light side, but post-holiday like this, it's not all that surprising. So, let's give thanks and dive in. We open with an ad for a recent blog post looking at the creation of various assets from Halo 5. From concept art to design philosophy and so much more, the article is a very nice look at what went into Halo 5. Some of it might sound like repeat info if you've watched all of the episodes of The Sprint and have the Halo 5 art book, but for those who haven't slash don't, this is a nice, lighter version of all that. And really, if I'm to be honest, there are some new perspectives not found in either of the aforementioned sources, so if you like behind-the-scenes stuff, do check it out. Link in the description, as always. Next up are the names of the winners for the recent Halo 5 swag giveaway. Congratulations to everyone who won! Our last section is a community question about the reason behind some of the unique tech suits seen among the Osiris crew in Halo 5. Grim reveals that the tech suit we see our multiplayer Spartan sporting is akin to a baseline model, and the ones that Osiris has would be specialized variants that may have suites of specialized and or upgraded tech suited to the individual or mission needs. Given that Osiris already has a ton of prototype and exclusive tech, specialized tech suits aren't much of a surprise. It also explains why the multiplayer variants of the Osiris armor sets seem to look so different from the campaign versions. It's all the undersuit, baby. The article then comes to a close with a shout-out to a number of Halo communities that specialize or at least prominently feature the lore. Included yours truly, we also have the Halo Archive, HBO, Podcast Evolved, Halopedia, Podtacular, Ready Up Live, Halo Gaff, Our Halo Story, and Forward Unto Dawn. All great communities and or content providers, many of which I can personally vouch for. And with that, we come to the new universe entries. This week we have the colony support ship Meridian 5 Alpha, and updates to the Type 33 Light Anti-Armor Weapon or Fuel Rod Cannon, and the M12 Force Application Vehicle or Warthog. Meridian 5 Alpha was a colony support ship seen over Meridian Station in Halo 5. Ships like these were used during Liang Dortmund's efforts on Meridian, though Alpha would eventually be the last of its kind on the moon. In the wake of the Guardian's emergence, Alpha was severely damaged, rendering it inoperable. Next up is the Fuel Rod Cannon, which I'm honestly not that sure what's been updated. Everything in the article, as far as I can tell, is stuff we've talked about on this channel before. Finally, we have the M12 FAV Warthog. The Warthog was developed by AMG Transport Dynamics, the first prototype fielded in 2319. Due to a masterful advertising campaign and a well-made machine, AMG received dozens of contracts in the eight months following the unveiling of their Z-12 prototype, the most lucrative coming from the Colonial Military Authority, or CMA. By 2329, the colloquially dubbed Warthog was the most widely used military all-terrain vehicle, followed closely by AMG's Mongoose. 200 years later, and the Warthog continues to dominate the military scene with close to a dozen variants. Known variants include the classic M12, the M12A1 or Rocket Hog, the M12G or Gauss Hog, the M12R or Missile Hog, the M831 Troop Hog, the M862 Arctic Hog, which features an enclosed cabin and quad tracks for scaling icy and snowy terrain, the M864 Warthog, specialized for cold weather but lacking the mobility modifications of the M862, the M868 Hog for tropical environments, the M914, a utilitarian variant for extracting immobile warthogs and used as a mobile repair bay, and finally, the Hog, the civilian variant. And that wraps up today's article. Just enough to wet the whistle, but short enough to let you get back to lazing about or kicking ass in Halo 5. Thanks for joining me as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.